In this video, we will learn how to create process instances for a process model. There are multiple ways to create a process instance model. By starting an event, a timer, with a single event, with a message event, with an error event, or with an escalation event. So for this example, let's use the start an event option and let's continue using the same example we used in previous videos for an automated management process and try to create process instances. To create a process instance, we need the reference from the deployed process model. So when we deploy a process model, we will receive back some information, such as the key of the model and the process definition ID. So we use either of these to create process instances for this particular process model. The endpoint required to create process instances is the post call workflow slash v1 slash process instanced. In the request body, we need the process definition key, which is captured from the deploy process model API. When we provide the process definition key, it will create a process instance for the latest version of the process model. But if we choose to define a process instance using a process definition ID, we'll create a process instance for a specific deploy process model version. Let's move ahead with process definition key and create a process instance. We now see the 201 status and it has successfully returned the ID, which is the process instance ID that can be used in further interactions. And similarly, we can use the process definition ID which is captured from the Create Process Model API. When we deployed the process model and create process instances for a specific version of the process model. Even if this API we see the 201 status and we have a process ID on the response. And that's it. That's how we can create process instances for a process model perform actions on a user task based on the task instance ID. For more information on this and other services, please go to developer.opentext.com.